guys what is good it is pure kratos here again second video in one day and today we're going to be going through the battle state talk of tv as you can see on screen i've taken a lot of notes this is the important stuff for you guys to know of what is potentially coming up in tarkov so the first thing is there is going to be a big update this year he hasn't said when but we do know that streets is the big update he has also specified with streets that is going to have continuous updates and it is this year it is going to be released and i i can show you some pictures from the battle state TV and this is streets images right now so as you can see there was a lot of pictures so I'm only going to show you a few but he has specified this building in the back there was a movie cinema and the thing that is holding up streets at the moment is the optimization because it is the biggest map coming to Tarkov and the other issue is near enough every building is accessible so he's basically said he wants it to look as good as it can but also play very very smoothly and obviously as a community that is what we want so this was the main thing personally for today also the trader mr lightkeeper is not ready yet he is still having work done to him but he has confirmed he is going to have bodyguards the next thing that was spoke about is storyline quests storyline quests are coming to the game but they are not going to be in the game until full release obviously nikita did ask the community for some questions and a question that popped up was about our hideouts in the game the hideout is going to have new areas and more upgrades made to it he did drop that potentially there's going to be a gym in the hideout and this will be used to level up your strength Another really cool thing that was he spoke about was that you'll be able to group with friends before your raid starts. So that's basically meaning you'll be able to get in a squad before you actually go into the raid. So you won't have to go into a raid, look for a group, and then invite your PMC friends. Right, also, in work right now, the advanced armor hitboxes are being worked on, but they're not 100% sure if this will be this year. So I'm going to quickly skim through the video because he did show us another cool feature. What I know a lot of people are looking forward to. Mr. Nikita himself. Just skip through the video quickly. We're watching a Yugar play against online against uh, actual PMCs and it was quite entertaining to watch. If you haven't be sure to go check out the actual Battlestate Games live thing. And here we go chat. This is the org. This was a little preview that we got for the new org gun. He did not show us any ADS and from my point of view when you look at it, it doesn't look very customizable. So this could be an issue or this could be something that they're trying to work on. So that is one thing. There was another feature that he did speak about very briefly. Um, and that is armor and weapon repair kits. And the thing that he said about the armor and weapon repair kits is when you use it to repair your weapon or your armor. That you're potentially going to be able to get buffs from this. So when you go and repair your armor for example you might get a light bleed buff so you're gonna have an extra 20 percent chance of not getting a light bleed this here as well is also a new animation for the glock something that did surprise me since when was the glock fully auto but that may be another little feature that's coming out that we just weren't very aware of yet I'm just skipping through the video chat to try and find you the armor repair stuff If I can't find it, I will uh, just get on to the next point. So just bear with me. Uh, anyway, we'll carry on. Arena is still being worked on. Uh, he has confirmed though that Arena is hopefully going to have four maps to start. 
And something that was very intriguing about, there is going to be a spectator mode for Arena, but also as your normal PMC, you might be able to find an item in Raid like a camera, and this will trigger a spectator mode for you. The next point that came across in the Tarkov TV was the option to knock down players and they will lose consciousness and they will take a certain amount of damage. So this is something that's going to be added into the game. Don't know how it's quite going to work yet. He was very keeping his cards close to his chest for this. But he did say that you'll be able to punch your own PMCs with injectors like adrenaline, uh, morphine and stuff like that to get them back up as well. Seasonal changes is coming to the game, so snow, autumn, winter, summer, but this is going to be a DLC on full release. Some other things as well for you, some of the weapons like the M16, the SR3M, what is the MP7A1, but the Russian name, they are being added to the game. Also the Honey Badger is being planned as well. The next point that came across was Tequila's Hammer is potentially going to be lootable. But then this also puts us on to the next point that he has stated that there is going to be new heavy tasks coming to the game what can potentially obtain clothing from bosses so you're going to have to go to Killer and find, kill him and get some of his clothing as well. On the subject of Killer, Killer is going to have a voice line, doesn't know when but there is going to be a voice line coming soon. Custom rigs is frozen at the moment. They are not working on them due to the optimization, the lag issues and everything in the game at the moment. So this is going to be a feature added. He can't give us a time frame for this, but it is going to be sooner than later. And another feature that I'm personally looking really forward to, the vaulting and climbing. So being able to vault over stuff and climb walls. Oh, here you go chat. This is the new MP7A1 or the SR3A. So something I noticed straight away is it's got quite a big kick on it. But when you go full auto with it, it does stable out. Obviously this is just a, a demo for us. It could be different. But this does seem like a very overpowered gun. And I feel like that's going to be a bit of a factory killer. Arena is going to be for esports events as well, so they're planning on trying to get esports events done for the arena. Um, and obviously, like I was saying, vaulting and climbing is currently in research and development stage. If that does happen, I think that's going to be very cool. Being able just to vault over like sandbags and stuff very quickly, I think mean, that's going to be a game changer. And being able to jump walls and stuff, that is going to make the game to a whole new level. Streets is going to be 0 0.13, so at the moment we are on 0 0.12.12.31, .12 so we have got a little bit of way to go, but 0 0.13 is going to be where Streets is coming out, uh, and all the AK series guns are potentially going to be added to the game, we don't quite know when yet, but they are going to be added at some point. And that was basically a brief breakdown of the Battlestate Games Tarkov TV Live with Nikita today. As you can see, really like the hat that he was wearing. Backwards cat. So yeah, that was it chat, obviously. Be sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment. If there's anything that you watched and I haven't picked up on this and you'd like some more information, be sure to let me know in the comment section. Peace and much love and I'll see you guys again soon.